Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are back here with Tamea Urban, better known as the Urban Healer, our Reiki master, our registered nurse, our uh, coach, our friend, our inspiration, our empath, <laughs> our friend, our dog mommy. Wait a second. Yes. We're live on Zoom too. Is your dog behind yes. you still or did he move? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, still, still there. Yeah. <laughs> My oh. assistant for the day. <laughs> Mother of what's his or her name? Tigressa. Tigressa? Yes. So she's a rescue from Mexico and she came with the name because she has little tiger stripes. If you can see, she's Brindle. Oh, I've never yeah. heard of that name, Tigressa. Yeah. I love that. It's Female cute. version of tiger. I used to have a tiger, yeah. like little cat named Tigressa. I love it. There well, nice go. to see you. Pleasure to have you Lovely. here. And yes. I know we're going to have a great conversation today in regards to tapping what that is. Uh, for yeah. those of you unfamiliar with your work, give us the website, please. Absolutely. So you can catch me online, theurbanhealer.ca, CA because I'm in Canada, but all of my clients are international. So it doesn't matter uh, where you're calling from because I work virtually. So I started my journey as a nurse. I've been a nurse for 10 years. And then since then, I've moved forward to other healing modalities. So I'm a life coach. I'm a Reiki master, um, clinical hypnotherapist, uh, tapping practitioner, all the different things. And I just think it's important for us to really look at your emotional well-being, your energetic well-being, and then see how it manifests in your physical well-being, as opposed to just looking at the physical parts. Beautiful. And that's why I asked her to do the introduction because I can't remember all she is. <laughs> She's just awesome. I've known her for so many months now, but she clearly is great at what she does and testimonials and her clients will speak and vouch for her and uh, check her out as well on Instagram as well. Uh, she got some fun stuff there all the time. Uh, <laughs> we talked about tapping last week, just what that is, but what, you know, yeah. for new listeners to let's go over it. What is tapping um, and the emotional freedom technique better known as EA? FT. There you go. Well, that was a beautiful intro right there. Nice. So uh, tapping is um, a neuroscience based tool that can help you process some of your emotions. So literally, like the name suggests, you're getting freedom from your emotions. So whether this is like a past limiting belief, a past trauma, a fear that you had, or it can also be something that's like physically feeling in your body, like a heavy heart or your stomach's upset, or you're feeling anxious. And this is a tool for you to acknowledge process and release that that energetically from your body. It's very similar to traditional Chinese medicine. So it's like acupuncture, but rather than seeing a professional and using needles, you can do it on your own and use your hands to tap on these energy um, centers around your body. And essentially, as you tap on these areas, it's kind of like an acupressure point, you allow energy to be released from that area. And then the energy will actually run through these meridians that are all over our body. And this isn't just like a woo thing. Like you can actually measure the energy shifting in your body and it moves faster than the chemical and physical systems uh, in terms of transportation and um, moving communication through your body. So with this, it's really cool because rather than you being like, oh, I'm really anxious. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I'm still anxious. Let's talk about it. You're just like, why am I anxious? And you get down to the actual root cause of it. So the way I like to explain it to my clients is it's one thing if you have like dandelions and you just keep trimming the top and like, sure, it goes away for a little bit, but if you don't rip it from the root one, there's going to be more yeah. <laughs> and two, it's going to keep coming back. So if you don't actually acknowledge your emotions and you don't actually process them, they're not going anywhere. And then it's like, one of the things that was really frustrating for me as a nurse it's like people have ailments that don't have causes. And I'm like, yeah, it's energy. It's stuck in your body. It's like, oh, my jaw. Oh, I have a headache. Oh, I can't sleep. Oh, this lower back pain. And it's like, you're not like broken physically, but you feel it and it's super debilitating. Yeah. So I just want people to be aware that there are techniques out there that you literally do this for free because yeah. I want to teach you how to do this. And the thing that's powerful with this technique is do it in the moment. Like I can create a technique for like a sequence for you, which might be great for someone beginning because you can follow along, but it's like, I don't know what you're thinking in your mind. Yeah. I don't know what's what you're looping through. And you might not even know what you're looping through in your mind. If you haven't actually like sat down and listened and it's like the repeated thoughts, the looping, like that's the stuff that you want to actually release. Cause that's the stuff that's playing over and over again in your head and energetically is moving through your body. Got it. 
Ooh, I'm just excited to see how this works. And, you know, yeah, here yeah, I've never physically done it. I've done a little like this bit, but from, I don't really know, no, no. So you talk about it. You go over the steps. Okay. Where do we start? So, super easy. The first thing you want to do is choose a topic and this can be literally anything. Is it something emotional? Like you're going through a, like a heartbreak or is it something like I'm anxious and like my heart is racing? Is it like, Oh, I'm unhappy with my body. I wish I could lose some weight. Um, is it a worry that you have like your finances? Is it something that you feel like you're not good enough? Like you can, you can tap on anything, which is really awesome. The thing that I always recommend is for it to be super specific. So the example that I'm going to use is let's say you're like, oh, I don't like my finances. I'm struggling. It brings me a lot of stress. And then you're like, okay, let's talk about my finances. Why? What part of your finances is stressful? Is it because you're not making enough money and you feel like you're never going to get ahead? Is it the pack, the part that you have way too much credit card debt and you're like, you don't know what you're going to do with it. Mm -hmm. And then you're just like, I feel like a failure. And I feel like I'm messing everything up. Is it that you're like, Oh my God, I'm doing the same thing. My mother did. And I'm following in her footsteps, which is like double triggering. So it's like, it's not just finances. Finances are numbers. Like if you see the number three, you're not going to freak out. (laughs) But the meaning that you put behind those numbers is what makes you upset. And again, it's, you could be in $5,000 in debt, or you can be 50,000 and really, are yes, they're different numbers, but it's the meaning behind what you have. Someone who's a millionaire, fifty thousand dollars is nothing to them. Someone who's working less than minimum wage, fifty thousand is like ridiculous. Yeah. So again, the meaning that you put on it. So what I always recommend for people to do is what is the greatest issue that's bothering you? What is upsetting you? What is on your mind? What is keeping you up at night? Like what feels overwhelming in your life right now? That's what you need to tap on. So in terms of some ideas for topics, is it your relationships, family, your physical body, whether you have a sickness or you just don't feel like you're feeling good in your body in the moment? Is it your career, your finances, your life goals? Do you have an illness? Um, And it can also come down to, I don't know what's wrong, but I have this like heaviness in my chest or like my stomach doesn't feel good. Like that's something you can tap on as well. And it doesn't need to be like, a certain specific topic per se. So really completely endless possibilities of what you could tap on. And essentially, I just want people to be really honest. And sometimes like being really honest with yourself might be a little bit challenging. So having a coach to ask you certain questions to get it out will really Mm -hmm. come down to the root of what is bothering you. Yeah. So step one. Mm -hmm. Number two is for you to create a setup statement. So essentially you're acknowledging what's bothering you, but also accepting yourself as you are. So there's varying versions of this. So the original one is even though I'm failing at my finances, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So that is kind of like the original one. If you haven't done inner work, and even if you have for you to be like, I love and accept myself, people are like, ah, that feels weird. Yeah. I don't want to say that. So in case you're in that category and you're like, Oh, that, that just seems like a little far fetched for me. And that like feels icky in my body. Then you can do some alternatives. Like I choose to forgive myself. Now I allow myself to be the way I am. I'm willing to let that go. I'm open to seeing another way it's over and I'm safe now. Cause a lot of people have anxiety over things that have happened and have the fear that it will happen again. And it's like, and I choose to release that stress. Now I choose to feel something different and you can go from like overwhelm and like spiraling to, you know, I just feel a little bit of sadness and that feels better than like overwhelm. And you're like hysterical. So just a little bit of sadness is better than that. So it's like, choose something a bit better because that will feel better in your physical body. All right. Good. Working on that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Boom. And then the next thing is to always check in on a zero to 10 scale. So the idea behind this is we have a positivity bias where we don't realize how bad the bad was because our our bodies are kind of like, let's not think about that again and let's Mm -hmm. move forward. So you might be like, okay, looking at my finances is like nine out of 10 distressing. 10 out of 10 is the worst you could ever felt. Like you feel like you are like doomsday. Yeah. And then it's like, we do the tapping and you might go down to like maybe a four and that's fantastic. But if you never checked in, then you're like, yeah, I feel a bit better, but like, I don't know. But if you have a physical number to look at, 
you can show like your brain and your ego but like oh cool something actually shifted here interesting let's continue and then i mean obviously the secret sauce to everything is consistency so if you do this regularly you can see like okay i'm always feeling an eight and now when i start i'm like at a six and you're like oh cool and it's like when you're working out, you sometimes measure yourself to be like, oh, I like lost a little bit of weight here. Or like, oh, my muscles got bigger, but it just gives you something to actually look at. Otherwise, sometimes we feel like we're doing it, but you don't actually have a big result. Yeah. Got so it. again, check in with how you're feeling in the way this uh, scale works or the way that I use it. Zero is neutral. So if you're super distressed, it's a 10 and you want to get lower on the numbers. And again, this just shows that you're processing some of the negative quotation marks, emotions to move towards the positive quotation marks. There's no negative and positives in the emotion world, but like from what you don't necessarily want to towards something you do actually want. So then you use your setup statement and you tap on the side of your hands. (laughs) I'm waiting for that. (laughs) <laughs> the karate chop. Oh yes. Yeah, I was so cute. <laughs> I'm so glad you listened. See, you remember. Like, Yay. <laughs> there you go. So it's always at this first uh, part is like the side of the hands. And then the other parts I'll just show you it's the top of the eyebrow. So kind of where your eyebrow, um, like the hairline begins. So it's not the temple, not in the middle, but just in the side. And then it's on the side here at the end of your eyebrow. So not your temple, but you want to be kind of like where that um, ridge around your eye, the bone is. Then it's underneath the eye. Again, not the squishy part, not your cheek, but there's kind of like a bone ridge that you Mm -hmm. feel. Under the nose, underneath the mouth, your collarbone, which is like kind of like you got the bone and then you want to go right underneath it. Not the bone. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Underneath the bone, then the side of the body. So if you are a bra wearer where your bra staff would be. (laughs) Yeah. And then the very top of your head. I had them lasered like (laughs) 10 years ago. They're looking dark, but there's nothing there. Oh, I see nothing. I'm sorry. I never look at my arm. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, it's like a shadow. I'm like, wait. Be- behind the scenes of the I'm, zoo. <laughs> imagine, no, 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 like, oh, and some people don't shave, and that's fine, but I'm like, wait, no, okay. Sorry. So, yeah, back no, where? You're good. I've never seen my armpit. It's gross. Back on where? Yeah. So, side of the um, arm there, like okay. underneath the arm, and then okay. the top of the head. Okay. So those are the points and it doesn't matter if you go along your right side or your left side, you just choose what feels better for you. Okay. Um, some people will like double tap around their face, but I feel like okay. that's like a little over stimulating and there's no study showing that doing it twice is better. Mm-hmm. Um, you tap on each um, point about five to seven times and you kind of move through from how you don't want to feel to something okay. neutral to how you do want to feel. And the reason behind this, a lot of people will work with mantras and affirmations, but like, let's say you're in a lot of debt and you're drowning in your debt and you feel so much shame about it. And you feel so hopeless for you to stand in front of a mirror and be like, I'm a millionaire. Your body's like, not true. You are not. And then your brain's like, this is stupid. I don't, I don't understand why you're doing this. You're not a millionaire. You're not going to be a millionaire. And it like that energy doesn't get you anywhere. And it's like, yes, with repetition, things do strengthen. But again, it's like, if you don't actually go down to the root cause of what's making you feel that way, you're not going to be able to call in the good. So a a quote that I heard, which was so great about this, if you're going to clean the house, you got to look at the dirt. You can't just clean the clean parts. Like that doesn't make sense. So if you're going to clean see the dirt. So this is energy cleaning. Literally you're allowing the negative energy, the stagnant energy to move through those channels, cleaning the channels. And then when you have the space, you can call in the thing that you actually want. And again, you're not going to go from I'm in debt. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm drowning in it. It sucks to, Oh my God, I'm so abundant. And life is amazing. Mm -hmm. You might go to like, okay, I'm going to make peace with my poor decisions and some unfortunate events that have happened. And I'm, I'm ready to see it in another way. I'm ready to call in money in ways I didn't think of before. I'm ready to release this debt and this shame and move forward. So it's like, you can't do it too quick. And it's like a, it's one of those like diet fads. Like you're not going to lose 50 pounds in a month and keep it off and not be unwell. True. You're just not. 
sorry, you got to do it the certain like step-by-step way. And if you do it slower and you have a strong foundation, that's where you build upon and you get the actual result that you want that will stay. Perfect. And then at the very end, you check in on your scale again. Like I mentioned, you want to see where you're at on the scale. Um, With this, what I will say, if you're doing it on your own, let's say your number didn't really move. It doesn't mean that you failed and it doesn't mean that it didn't go well. It just means that you might be tapping on something that is decades old. It's not something you just picked up like yesterday. So it might take a little bit of time for you to process, 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 then release, release, release. So just be compassionate with your experience, be like kind to the fact that nothing is a quick fix ever. So it will take a little bit of time for you to one, get used to it, get used it to the wording. Some time, I don't know that song, but it goes like that. I'm sorry. You said it's a great, me. it's a great song. I love that. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. No, no, never apologize. I love that. Like we have a dog, we have a soundtrack, we have all the things. Like <laughs> Great day. Amazing. Gosh, I wish you lived closer. Uh, oh, okay. oh my God, me too, right? Yeah, you're awesome. <laughs> uh, one day I will visit, I promise you. I <laughs> looking more promising. Side. Really, thank you. <laughs> yes. Good, good, yes. good, good. Please. Yeah, so that's the whole idea behind tapping and you can do it at any point. And again, what I will say with for people that are starting off with this, if you're like, I don't know what words to use, I don't know how to say it, I don't know what's actually bothering me, you could literally just tap on those points and just been like, I feel off. Why do I feel off? Why does this come up? And you can like tap through it. And okay. it's like when you are in like a anxious spiral, what are what are you saying in your mind? Like you hear some ridiculous statements coming through your mind. So I want you to say those statements out loud. And when you say it out loud, one, you're going to hear it in a different way. And you're going to be like, well, that sounds ridiculous. Like you don't go from having financial issues to like bankruptcy. Like there's like steps in between and it's not going to go to, they're going to take away my home. It takes many, many, many steps for you to get to the point where your home will be taken from you. So it might be a valid concern for you. And I absolutely acknowledge that, but just know that that's not going to happen tomorrow. And if it's not going to happen today or tomorrow, we should just work on what's happening right now. So say those words out loud. And again, when you say them out loud, you're actually reprogramming your brain three ways. You're first going to say it. So whether the person saying it, who's helping you or you're saying it, then you hear yourself saying it and then you say it again. So then you're allowing those neural pathways to be strengthened and for you to create a new pathway that feels better. And then you can like align to that easier than the old pathway that kind of took you on like a dark road. Okay. There you go. So as always, in terms of tips for your best results, you have to be consistent. I invite you to be patient and kind with yourself because sometimes people are like, it's not working. Mm -hmm. It's just not working. I'm like, well, how many times did you do it? Once. I'm like, okay. (laughs) Well, you can't go to the gym and have abs right away. Like we've all tried that and it does not work. Yeah, true. Keep it simple and keep it specific. So again, general tapping sequences that are out there are great, especially when you're getting started, but working with a coach one-on-one who will interview you and get those like core beliefs and those limiting ideas that you have and says those, you're going to have a much faster and stronger um, result as if you were just doing general ones, but the general ones are still fantastic. And how long does it take to see like results to how often do you need to tap? How, How does that work? Well, I mean, I tap pretty much every single day, but then most of my tapping sequences are like five, 10 minutes. Okay. They don't have to be long. Um, sometimes I'll miss a couple of days, but then I start feeling a bit off. And this is almost like rather than doing like a giant spring cleaning and moving all your furniture and you haven't done it for like almost uh-huh. a year, gotcha. different okay. cleaning than if you're very consistent and like you have time to clean your baseboards on a regular basis. Who okay. does? just wondering, but good for you. If yeah. you do that, then your spring cleaning is not going to take, oh. I <laughs> then do. your spring cleaning. Because I'm also taking long. my kids to the bath every damn day. So I'm always, mm. while I'm bathing them, I'm cleaning the damn vents. I'm underneath the vents. And within wow. a day, the black dust, I just don't understand why there's black yeah. dust. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, but it's true. And just think of the black dust as being stagnant Ooh. black energy. Yep. Okay. And like, imagine you didn't do that for a week. Imagine <sighs> you doing for a month. Imagine if you didn't do it for a year, a decade, like it's just like 
that stuff just like get about it. My God. it just ends up like coming regardless. And it's yep. like you consistently need to wash your floors. Mm-hmm. You consistently need to wash like your clothing. Ugh. This is the same thing with energy and like with your emotional well-being. Like you can't go to a therapist once a month and be great. Like you yep. need little things to do. And this is why I'm like so passionate about tapping because it's so easy to do. And then you just do a little bit of tapping five, 10 minutes in the morning, in the evening, or like in the moment when you're caught up in some big emotions and boom. And then the thing that I'm going to say is after you're done tapping, um, I always recommend to journal, um, get yourself grounded, just check in with what came up. Drinking water is a good way of also getting back into your body. And then just take time to hopefully not rush into the world or like jump onto a meeting or like have to do too much because you just opened up some big channels and you might be a little bit sensitive. But that's amazing because that means you just release something and then just notice how you feel different and you feel lighter and like you might just look at the world a little differently and it makes a big difference. So that is what I wanted to mention. And the other thing that I want to touch on, sometimes people are like, it doesn't work. It's not working. It's not working for me. What is going on? So maybe your setup statement isn't specific enough. So if you might be like, oh, I'm stressed about my finances but why and how, and what does that mean? Then you get down into the, oh my God, will I afford my kids college? And like, and then you feel the like, why important. Again, your topic might be too broad. If you're just like, I'm stressed. We are all stressed. Mm -hmm. What are you stressed about? Are you work stressed? Are you relationship stressed? Are you like stressed with your kids? Are what, what is it? So be really, really clear. Um, sometimes there's a secondary issue underneath. So you actually need to go deeper. And this is a bit tricky to do if you do it on your own, if you're not like a coach slash no one can coach themselves. You just cannot see it from a different angle because you are it, you are in it. So sometimes you just need a second, uh, like set of eyes and someone to help you be accountable. And then you might have a secondary gain in terms of keeping this. And again, this is something that you would work through with a coach. And it's like, sometimes people get addicted to the drama. Sometimes people get addicted to the stress. Sometimes people get addicted in certain patterns in their life. Mm -hmm. And then that's something that you can like, from a chemical perspective, be addicted to in your mind Mm -hmm. that will require a little deeper inner work, probably best done Mm -hmm. with somebody. And then if you're not doing it consistently, it's, it's like with anything else you have to do it regularly. It doesn't like, I don't tap for four hours a day. Can like you do, that's ridiculous. Does your dog tap? Can you tap on your dog? Like, you know what? Sleeping? You have actually you can. I haven't tapped on her. She looks so comfortable. I don't know what no. she's doing. So maybe you gave her a little session beforehand. Well, you know, uh, why am I on the ground and she's on the couch? I'm just wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just like talk about that for a we'll moment? Figure. Well, that's a, I like your background. So it's perfect. Whatever Thank you, you do. I didn't Thank know you before. You would, it looks like you're there sitting you down at a table. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No, I'm, I love being on the floor. It's just like super grounding when it's like you have low lights and you have the camera and you get all the things. Um, I do have a client that taps on her chihuahuas and they will like wait for it. Uh-huh. And it's the cutest thing ever. And I mean, they're just like us. They're just smaller and a little bit furry. And that's, that's that. But um, yeah, so do you want to just tap for like a quick second and just see what it feels like? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All righty. What is something you would like to tap on? (sighs) Keep it out as neutral as you'd like as well, because we only have a few more minutes left. Finances. Let's do finances. Finances. Yeah. I want to do more things with my kids. I would need more income. I would need to pay off my mortgage. Let's, can we do tap finances? Okay. Not a problem. So Mm -hmm. starting at the side of the hand. Mm -hmm begin tapping and then I'll say it. And then you'll repeat after me. So even though I'm feeling some stress over my finances, I completely accept how I feel. Even though I'm feeling stress over my finances, I completely accept how I feel. So even though I'm stressed over my finances, even though I'm stressed over my finances, I accept how I am. I accept how I am. Even though I'm stressed over my finances, even though I'm stressed over my finances. I'm open to seeing it another way. I'm open to seeing it another way. At the eyebrow point, all this stress around money. All the stress around money. Side of the eye, it makes me feel overwhelmed. Makes me feel overwhelmed. 
underneath the eye. Sometimes I don't know what to do next. Sometimes I don't know what to do next. Underneath the nose and it feels overwhelming. And it feels overwhelming. Underneath the lip. I feel like I don't have many choices. I feel like I don't have many choices. Collarbone and I feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I'm stuck. Side of the body. And I wish I had more options. I wish I had more options. Top of the head. My finances make me feel stressed. My finances make me feel stressed. So big breath in. Let it go. And then just to keep it simple, I'm going to do like a positive round. Okay. So starting at the eyebrow point, I'm open to looking at my finances differently. Open looking to my finances differently. Side of the eye. I'm open to creating more income sources. I'm open to creating more income sources. Underneath the eye. I'm open to receiving money. I'm open to receiving money. Underneath the nose, I'm worthy of receiving more money. I'm worthy of receiving more money. Underneath the lip, finances can feel good. Finances can feel good. Collarbone, and I'm ready to release all that stagnant energy. And I'm ready to release all that stagnant energy. Side of the body, so I can create more space. So I can create more space. Top of the head, for being wealthy and abundant. For being wealthy and abundant. Tonight, nice big breath in. Let it go. How did that feel? Good. Something totally different. I would never even think that to do that. Like, but how do I remember what to say? I'd have to write. You always say you always say what's coming up for you. So let's say if I was working with you, I would um, do it with you. I'd record it and I'll send you the audio so you can Got repeat it. it. Okay, okay. I'm like, wait, cause I don't remember yeah. that. I'm like, I want to yeah. do it again later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then you. there are a whole bunch of scripts out there. Um, I do Americans. have a couple okay. on my YouTube. I have some on my Instagram and it's something that I'm creating. I have actually a lot of them that are already recorded. I just need to like get them out. So I'm currently working with, uh, my uh, virtual assistant to get them out there, but you can literally tap on anything. And it's like a game changer. If you did this, a little bit every day, it just makes such a difference. difference. And even if you can just feel a little bit lighter, why not feel a little bit lighter as you move through like life and do the things? I like it. So there you go. Thank you so much. And remind us all your services and how we can get in touch with you, please. Absolutely. So my website is theurbanhealer.ca. You can find my Instagram, the period urban period healer. Uh, You can also find me on YouTube, which is the urban healer. So I'm a Reiki master. If you want Reiki or want to get certified, hit me up. If you are interested in life coaching, I have group coaching and one-on-one coaching. Um, I also do, of course, tapping and um, NLP and hypnotherapy. So anything you need, like, let me support you. I'm here for you. Check it out. Hey, I know Reiki can be done on animals, right? So is that what you do on Tigressa? Is that her? Absolutely. Name? When I got her from Mexico, she was such a traumatized dog. Like I gave Clearly. her Reiki multiple times every day. Oh. And now she's a little Tigressa. queen. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you so Famous. much for being here. Have a great thank weekend. You. Always a pleasure to see you towards oh. the end of my work day. And uh, wait, what time is it where you are? Is it's it- uh, 2.30. Oh, it is. We're the same. Okay. We're the same. Yeah. Canada, I know we're okay. But um, good. Well, look, looking forward to my weekend. Thank you. I was like in so a positive note with you. Thank you. Bye. Have a great Sounds day, good. sweetheart. I love Bye. you. Mwah. Love Bye. you more. And Bye. everyone, please. I love when you say that. Stay tuned. <laughs> Listen to her commercial. She's here again. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world. This is the Podcast Business News Network.